right, I'm going to try again with this jolly old mic. I keep getting it completely wrong this time. <laughs> Hopefully now you can actually hear me. Hang on. Wow. Hopefully you can hear me. And the next thing is to get my hair out the way because I see that was in the way. So I've done that now. And uh, <laughs> let's have a look. What I might have to do is narrate over the top of the film if it isn't as clear as it should be. <coughs> let's see. Okay. Now this little bunny. Hang on. We've done some basics of all the highlights that we can see, a little bit of texture that's important in certain places. So now I am going to run over it with a half tone. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to use, um, I suppose, uh, a pink stone. It's a stone I don't actually use very often, but I've just spotted it in the tray. So what it does is um, a sort of a half tone with bits in it, if you like. It's a bit softer. I've got some water dripping. I'm not holding it at the moment, but I've got it suspended. I find sometimes these stones I use without water. This will actually be very, very dull. You probably won't be able to see it very clearly, but it'll all be revealed when uh, I take... In fact, I'll take the picture away now. You'll be able to see it better. Yeah, this video has been a particular challenge to make for some reason. I've been getting all the technology wrong. I say I'm not I've been doing videos for years, but I'm, I'm no expert, that is for sure. But anyway, trying very hard to get you to see the, the basics. Okay, I have dried it and I've got water dripping on it. So you can sort of see this little bunny emerging from the glass. Using this uh, pink stone, I'm now just running over all these clear areas. I don't want to see any clear glass. I'm not too worried about the direction because it's very, it's going to be very smooth and you won't be able to see by the time I'm finished. Just filling in all the areas. Still got a lot of dust in it, but you will now be able to see this little character now emerging from the glass. Okay, 
there you can see and by using that tracing you're getting as accurate uh, a picture as possible the rest when it comes to the hair obviously and and the the shading and that crumbs the the little buddy could have been running in the wet it could be he could be standing in the sunshine he could be standing in the shade he could have just brushed up against something you know <laughs> there's so many different things that could change his hair but the basics are there so you don't have to worry too much after that just try and copy the picture as much as you can right so next on the agenda now is to get some of the basic shading in using a grey rubber and this I'm just going to run dry no wet Good. so shading just look at the picture and just I'm not even going close to it it's easier actually to put your magnifier up sit back and you can see you've already left little rough places where you want where you want the shadow to be and sometimes you don't even want it to be any darker than what it is there are definitely areas that need to be darker define it look at his little mouth so sweet Now going to the whitest area down here where we used only very rough diamond we'll still be able to pick up a sort of a shadow it goes like that now you can see where I've only shaded on the diamond and there it's darker where I had had left a little bit and then put a half tone over the top Okay, he's dark under here, and this sort of comes out over the front of the foot. Don't you want to rub his little tummy? Let's get those ridges are quite prominent, funnily enough. Okay. It's a very sharp edge to the ear here, but which I've kind of lost, so I will reintroduce it by really whitening up the background here, and you'll be able to see it. And I'll probably use a darker, harder rubber. And he's got some wrinkly bits in here. You'll notice that my I've made my drill go quite slow. Some sort of lumpy bits here. It's really strange. Okay. And you, s you can see now how, I, how the eye is just joining in. I've ha I haven't done any more to the eye. And probably by the looks of things could shade this top a bit. That's a bit more real. sort of comes around like that okay I'll let you see an update of the picture Where we've got bunny right I'll put it there you can see <laughs> yeah okay 
So I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to enhance some of the very, very darkest areas. With a hard rubber. I'm just going to make that little area smoother. You can see how I've kind of, hopefully you can see how I've kind of cut a line in there, which I had missed. And then this is quite dark around here. And then you <laughs> run the polisher over your nail. That's not very clever. Hmm. Incidentally, if you are a, a nail artist, this is the same sort of drill that they're using today to to uh, these days to. Um, that you use these drills on uh, gel nails, especially to take the, the top layer off before soaking and removing the polish. So, anyone who does nail art, you can also do some engraved glass. Okay, how are we doing? Got a little bit of, a little bit more contrast going on there now. Okay, I'm going to go back into the. Uh, Oh, shall I do some dark hair strip? Oh, okay. This is another thing that I do from time to time. So we get a little white Arkansas. Okay, there's your white Arkansas. I have flattened the top. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I've flattened the top, so it's not a sharp point. And by using that on its side, these are quite short, actually. They don't fit into everybody's um, drills, even the micromotors. They fit into not mine, but I've had some people say they can't take the shorter diamond. I mean, the shorter burr. It's still 2.35 millimeter shank, but it's a shorter one. You guys will, most of you will have these. Is that a, is that a white oak? No, that's not a white oak. It's just the same shape. Uh... Hmm. Here's one. Here's a white car. This is the white Arkansas you may, may be more the white Arkansas that you may be more familiar with. Uh, you can still flatten that that top and and use that as well. I actually sell these. Um, I do sell the smaller ones, but it's a little bit risky if your drill doesn't take them. It just actually means that you can't push them all the way in. They just go a little, a little way. Um, you know, you don't let them drop all the way. You just push them in halfway and tighten, and they can't come out, and they're fine. So what this will do is just some add some texture uh, where there's where we've got a flat area. I'm just going to flick up and down, and it will just. See if you can see that. It'll add a movement. A movement that is darker. I'm going to try and zoom in and see. I don't know if that'll focus. But I'm talking about there. These tiny little lines. So you can see how that is darker. This 
also flicks nicely so you have a nice fine hair. Can you see that? Very, very, very fine hair. Which will also be a sort of a half tone. So it's ever so subtle, but it gives you the impression of a very hairy bunny. As I say, paints with diamonds, I say. And those of you who know my my live chats that I've done in the past on Facebook. I think I've done your yeah, Facebook. Uh, and I've now put on my website it's Leslie Pike paints with diamonds because that is exactly what it feels like. Even though obviously not all diamonds, you've got your white or Kansas stones and aluminum oxide stones. Easier if you say pink ones, brown ones. It's this is subtle, but it's hairy. It's more hairy. Right, where have we gone? Right, time to hold this. I think. Hmm. So let's go over again with a little bit of the soft grey rubber again. Now that I've thrown my picture aside, where have it, where's it gone? There it is. And of course, in fact, sometimes um, the portrait that you're doing, in fact, <laughs> often is the case, I'm doing a portrait of an animal that's no longer with us. And uh, so, of course, that again makes um, getting a decent photograph very difficult. And because you, re this is a green stone, because you really want to be able to help the customer create a lovely memory and do your best with what they can offer you for reference. I'm going to go back with the rat's tail that we sharpened earlier on, if I can find it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Where are you? So amazing. I never know if I actually put it back into this slot or back into the original. There it is. Okay. Still quite sharp. Still got the sharp edges. Now, we're going to look very carefully and add little hairs. Trying not, I'm working dry, I'm trying not to create any trip chips on the edges. So be quite gentle because I mean if you do make a little chippy edge just neaten it with a white Arkansas stone. Right. 
The hair in the background is quite white. And that nicely shows up the ear. Sitting on the edge of my edge of my seat quite awkwardly to try and get around here so that I can still see this and I hope my hair is not in the way anymore. Gosh. Same as you know when all watercolour artists, I suppose any artist are painting a building where you can see all the bricks. They do not paint every single brick. They give an impression. So I am not painting every single hair, although it may look like it at the moment. There are many areas that will just be a shade, but by especially these tiny little hairs coming out the edges and the theme carrying on inside it gives the impression of, of all the, the hair the hairy little hairy little bunny and there's no hard outlines to flatten it mainly picking up where there's highlights you engrave what you can see so then you must engrave what you can see and engrave the light always Now if you flick upwards, okay, flick down over the edge, but as you're going up into a, a darker area, if you flick upwards and automatically the impression is that there are darker hair is coming down. I'll demonstrate that another time on another video. And this is where you literally you hold your breath and in very, very quick movements. And if it goes dotty like that, it's too bad. Don't go over it again. Need it to be running a bit faster, but it's fine. There must be some on this side. Okay, I need to define this a little bit more. As I say, flick upwards into the dark. See, it's an RCR glass, which I, I usually put the logo at the back of the glass, and I put my signature at the back of the glass as well. So the the little images in the front. Not that it really matters because they might want to display it with the little bunny on the opposite side. But you've got the two views anyway. Ooh. As usual. Ooh, my word. Right, so well done. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.